Hello and welcome to a cast of UGC Steel, UGC Steel Blue. It's in North America and we have two teams here. We're gonna watch the Linko cam because he's a sniper on the blue team. That's the red team. Shit. There's the blue team. Yes, it's Trollbait. And on Trollbait we have the Scout, Oh, we the Soldier Ow, oh, the Pyro Tarandol, the Irish Shed Otter Pops. Is the Demoman Hardo Quen. Haro Quen is their heavy. Charlie Cat is engineer. Fluttershy is medic. Linko is the sniper, which we're watching right now, and we got the Dream Traveler. And on the red team, on the other corner of the map, being exactly mirrored, we got Itchy Bragging on Scout. This is the Swordish Trump Swordfish Tramboy or Swordfish Trombones. You know, swordfish, we can call him that. So we got it it Itai Bragig on Scout. We got front toward enemy on soldier. And that snapper is the pyro navigator is Demo man, Pete of is the heavy, Wicket is engineer, Cream with K, uh, and a bunch of dots is the medic, the custodian is the sniper, and Decon is frost, and with me is no other than Fatal from British Dominance. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm um, doing fine, thanks. Uh, yeah, glad to be here. How are you? I'm really good, I mean, we got uh, a game here on Arctic, a uh, map that both you and I have played, because you played in the UGC as well, correct? Yes, I do for Team Team. Yes, that's right. In Europe, of course. Yep. So right now we are, oh, the front forward enemy. The, he's front forward enemy. He's really front forward towards the enemy. The soldier's gonna jump! He lands one rocket on the medic, on second. Ah, and he drops the medic Fluttershy. Nice little rocket jump there. We totally haven't uh, seen that before, because this is to well. totally the first take. Uh, so what are we seeing right now on the middle point? Um, on the midpoint, uh, we're seeing, I just saw the spy come in, first stab on the NG, he's retreated back, and yeah, he's going back, uh, I don't know what else to say right now, so I'm going to pass it over to you. Oh yes, that is very professional of you to say that. <laughs> yeah, right now, oh, Sorry. it looks like a fast forward enemy, um, there, Swordfish is soldier, he's being really aggressive here, uh, pushing forward. And the right. down, teleport a bit, just... Well, that is going to uh, reduce the reinforcements. Keep in mind, the engineer is a very uh, influential uh, class on the battlefield because, you know, where the teleporter is is where the reinforcements going to come from. And the Dream Traveler with the backstab on uh, Cream and the Heavy, so they are all dead. Bunch um, of casualties here. Yes. Custodian with a nice uh, headshot on the, on the NG, was it? Yes, on the blue NG. Oh, oh he's down. Here. So, yeah, we got troll baits. They're in the blue. Uh, holding in the points and having held, held it for uh, quite a significant time too. Uh, Swordfish really needs to get something done here. We got Pete and Pete trying to do something with his swag. What is, what is, this is the, uh, swag. Yeah, it's the gold bot killer minigun MK1. And he has right. like unusual hats. And of course he has to be good, you know? If you, if you yeah, dress if you nicely. Unusual, you're amazing. Yeah, your skill has to be adequate, yes. So we have the heavy here going a bit solo really mode, and uh, if you're a heavy and you face uh, another heavy, a demo, and a pyro, and an engineer, uh, you're probably going to die. Which I is think a we forgot to mention that red are running crits. Oh yes, they are. Crits is... well, Fluttershy has full uber, and it's going to be crits versus uber, and it all comes uh, down to are they able to get the crits. Yeah. Are they able to get the crit, uh, the, the picks they need, because they need to get the medic and that quick. And here is the crits I on the demo man. Gonna, yep. Crits on the demo, and it might be on the Solly as well, no. Uh, the medic fell, but he uh, got a couple of kills now. there, and Fluttershy somehow died as well, so neither team has a medic at the moment, but, uh, looks like, uh, Red Team can, uh, came out of top of that one, as they're currently capping the points. And Linko dies. No, Linko kills the Custodian, so sniper advantage for Blue Team, as he was actually the only one up, so it didn't really matter that much. So he's watching the link here. Arctic, uh, a map. still running Crits. They still are? Alright, so they really want to uh, do dash up here because they're actually behind. Oh, nice backstab there by Deacon taking down Fluttershy, giving oh. his team the advantage in the terms of Uber that they still need. Uh, and Cream is back. Uh, no, he's still running the crits, sorry. Just my eyes deceiving me. Maybe it's a spy. Perhaps. Deacon takes down the spy. I mean, no, the heavy. Yeah, the heavy. It took, it took down the uh, demo man as well. And one thing we see a lot in. Uh, nice doubles. One thing that's kind of been like uh, a thing that I've noticed uh, with some plays is that in uh, the steel divisions, the spy is usually a class that does uh, fairly well. 
But surprisingly yeah. enough, in, in Platinum, we're starting to see engineers do really well, like doing big top fraggers and stuff like that, so... And Deacon with another stab on the Cypher and the Heavy. Yeah, so I think we will be seeing a lot of work from the Spy here. Nice crit stick is coming in here onto Fluttershy, and Fluttershy falls. He dies with just Gibbs, man. Nothing but bits. <laughs> so we have a uh, red team just holding the point here. So nice work there by Navigator, navigating the pain towards his enemy and uh, killing them. So, oh, Linko getting the Sniper Custodium once again. Uh, sniper pick. So I'm on the Linko camera now to see if he can uh, get anything done. And he's currently being spammed out in the window here. Uh, yeah, looks like a troll bait is putting some pressure back on the point. As, uh, yeah, Swordfish uh, is having a little bit of trouble here, has to retreat and maybe gather. They have a full crit though, here he comes! Yes. Heavy. Uh, crit popped on the heavy. I know. Doing a lot of damage as well. Getting a little help, you know, from Custodian, getting that headshot. Yes. Custodian being a really good sniper. Ends in 30 seconds. Yeah, he's doing fairly well. In terms of score, we got a little scout duel on the side here. One is invisible, the other invincible, the other is not. So let's see here. Will it, I think. Oh, he's gonna have a scout duel. Keep in mind, you can't run away from somebody who's just as fast as you. So we have a little. We got Aoi and uh, the other guy. AU with e e e e e falls to Aoi. And then currently counter crits here from Fluttershy. Soldier is behind her, her, him, that gets the kill. It's currently overtime with only 19 seconds to go uh, on the clock if they do cap this. Nice Jurati coming in here. Tries to get something done, but it looks like it will be a cap. And there's Snucker doesn't have a good enough angle to do anything. He might get the heavy though if he just stays in scope and didn't quick scope and miss. He might have been able to do that, but Nair comes to win with some spam and only 10 seconds left to go. Right, and Red out Red out on overtime, so anything could happen. Oh, yeah, wait. a spy happens. Spy. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like. Oh, that we got overtime on the point time. now. Is this going to be the hero pyro that saves the day? Wow, he is lagging. I, perhaps. Oh no. Oh, I think it's all over. I think it's all over for... Oh, here comes the Soldier, he's not done, he gets a couple of kills, and... The, oh! The Devil Man needs to get on the point! The Devil Man needs to get on the point, he needs to hurry! He needs to go! What are you going to get on the point?! What is... No, this is no, all no. over. No, they can have the point, is what he said. <laughs> oh, dude, that was... Grr. Okay, my, my favorite Soldier right now, front forward enemy. He just... Yeah, Did, did really so. well, like... He came up and he's like... Guess it's a five versus one. Uh, I guess I'll kill everyone. I think I'm gonna follow the Deacon Frost cam for now. Yeah, and now we have a timeout, I think. And now we have a pause. Five. We are back. That was a short pause. Wow. And what is this? Look. Oh, okay. Uh, that was some funky, um, funky bonk animation there. Uh, yes. So right now, uh, what is the status, Mr. Fatal? Um, yes, so, uh, I blew up the first cap, and right now we're seeing, like, Red trying to make come back. So, yeah, yeah, that's about it. We also seen that, If you uh, just joined us. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, one thing I've noticed is that Hero Queen seems to be misreading his, uh, team, teammates a little bit, because he keeps, to, keeps wandering off by himself, and then the, uh, Red team just gangs up on him and kills him a lot, so you gotta be careful about that. Soldier goes, whoa, he went flying. Combined rocket jump there, and uh, front front toward enemy. He's always front toward enemy. I guess he lives up to his name. Good thing I it wasn't anything vulgar. Yeah, he's been really, really selfless, which is really what, um, I, in my opinion, what I'm Deacon Frost. How many times have he killed Harold Queen right now? It's gotta be a I've lot. Lost count. I've yeah, lost count. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, keep in mind, uh, regardless to what anybody says, it's always your fault for being stabbed by a spy. Uh, oh yeah, nice crits coming in by the way. Oh Whoa. no! What Get happened? Nicked down yet again. Oh, they died. Well, Harrow Queen is on the top now all by himself, where he's comfortable, I guess. Nope, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> to the snipers. Oh look, we have an NGV NG. NGV NG plus spy and another soldier. Right. We know who's going to win that. Yeah. Oh no. The NG might just be going down. Yes. Interesting choice that he's running the Widowmaker, uh, considering that metal might be a bit scarce. Uh, 
if he wants yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, no, is he running the Wrangler? Uh, let's see. Charlie Cat. Yeah, no, he's running the pistol, so he is. Uh, we might be seeing some uh, pistol work out of him. So they're currently capping the point here. Uh, Swordfish held the point for quite a while here, and here comes Deerakon. Deacon once again. Oh, this is just painful to watch, man. Horrible. Queen. He's, he's just demonic. dying so much. If you were to give any tips to Haru Queen to stop dying from <laughs> the spy, what would you what would you say to him? If you could like channel through to his headset in in the past from the future, <laughs> tell him. What would you tell him? Cinch. What? Um, to be more careful, I guess. Yeah. I tell him to definitely check your back constantly. Because, uh, oh, nice little crits coming in here. Crits against sent mini sentry, fun fact, doesn't do extra damage. Heavy resistance. Whoa, Hero Queen here finally coming back here a bit. We might see a spy here any second. <laughs> well, he got the medic. Well, man, I almost called that one. Yeah. Hero Queen being a bit unlucky here. Wow. Decom Frost doing a lot of work. Man, look at that score 42. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's the, like the thing is like a spy is only as good as you let him be so if you never check your back he's just gonna keep killing you constantly mm. and here he is again he's at the dispenser yeah he got away he's back here and oh wait 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 uh he well this pyro song well he's gonna die now yes he goes down to the pyro so nice work there uh what i was gonna say earlier is that it's not really the pyro's job to keep the spy away from you it's your own job to check your back Front, right. the red soldier here killing the medic once again. He just doesn't. Mr. Give. Sapper doing some great work. Um, I don't know. Well, his work's gone to waste. The spy got away. Yeah. Well, you know, if the spy gets away, um, it's going to be uh, a bit of more problem because you keep the focus on the spy behind. So even if the spy isn't doing anything, they're being very careful. But now Krieg, he has a full crits Krieg, and he is with his heavy. Uh, he, he's lagging a bit. <laughs> What I'm noticing about the red team is, right, um, they don't even, like, some of them just don't even wait for heroes, they just go in and look for the hero players come out, but, yeah, they yeah. should, I think, consider their team as a whole, on a, like, you know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, no, please elaborate. You're not following red, but, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> sorry. No, it's fine, don't awkward. be sorry, you're not sorry. <laughs> well... Uh, I'm trying to. Uh, okay. Is that a blue pyro flanking down there? Is that? Oh, wh uh, what is he okay. doing down there? I really have no idea. Oh, nice Jurati here though. The Delman can get some really nice damage done here. And the oh well. Navigator backs out. Didn't get too much done here. Soldiers on the high ground. He's running the black box, so he's opting to be a bit more survival uh, man instead of uh, sort of uh, killing the enemy. <laughs> Frontier Justice crit in the face to Irish Red. Irish Shed, the otter pops. Courtesy of Wicked. At least Red are getting some caps on them, which is very, yeah, good for them. Yeah, it is. And now they're running crits. So they're being, uh, popping the crits fairly uh, successful so far. Uh, most of the, like, their combo is sticking a lot more together than the blue team. And because of that, they're coming on top of a lot more engagements. And also, of course, you know, they have their spies stealing all their kills. How does this compare to play in Platinum, do you think? Uh, definitely the spy doesn't get as many kills in platinum. Uh, it gets all it, my, it gets some, but it gets a lot less because people are just more cautious. And um, in the steel lower division, it's it's all about like team play and team feel. And if you feel your team pretty well, like you know how they like to play, you can spot spies really easily. Um, and also, you gotta keep in mind like the spy always gets you when you're busy with something, and that's like one thing you should keep in mind. Like, oh yeah, we're doing a big push right now. And like they're doing the blue demo, getting some good damage onto the heavy, taking down the other demo, I think. Yes, and the injury's remaining, and he's just walked into a shitstorm, and yeah. Well, their Red, team name was the Poop on the screen, so I guess you were right. People calling good round. So let's see, uh, well, Cream running the Crits Krieg, that's interesting, on the first. Let's see, yeah, both teams running Crits Krieg here. So they're going to yes. be fairly even. Slight, slight advantage to Fluttershy, uh, but it looks like... No, it's so... No, uh, Cream has just caught up and is now ahead. Um, so let's see what they do. They're opting to take the elbow. They got their elbow heavy in their elbow. Soldier up top on the crate. They got some nice positioning here. Um, so... Red. Oh, Two. another backstab from Deacon here. Taking down oh. Haro Quen again. Oh, man. I don't really see the blue spy doing... Um, as well as Red Spy. I mean, well, I think he, the Red Spy's carrying the team. 
Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, they don't check their backs enough. That's the reason you get stabbed. Uh, yeah. There's, there's really no other reason. He, do, he can't appear out of nowhere. Well, he does, but he can't shoot when he does that. Deacon here now taking out the teleporter, which is nicely angled down in the ground, thanks to uh, updates. And crits on a pyro for a little bit here. All I can see of the of what used to be the death after ah, float. Yeah. And another backstab from Deacon on Harrow Queen. This is getting so painful to watch here. Uh, but he gets taken down by all, and all's like, "Well, I'm gonna get something done now." And yes. He, he, yes, eventually he will. Get some Green. nice rockets onto that and takes out the pyro with a nice little shotgun. So he will be standing on the point. He, not at all. In fact, he will. Oh. Well, that was unlucky. Oh. Uh, one thing that we also see sometimes in the lower divisions is that the players will just hurl themselves at the enemy one at a time. And first, all went down, and now the pyro went down. And it's only like the medic and the NG, as opposed to the red team's uh, heavy, heavy medic. Demo combo with the uh, well, and... cam right now with a nice stab um, again. On the heavy. Or we might as well. well just stop calling that. We can just call. It. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> it's happened so many times. Deacon Frost happened. Yeah, Deacon Frost happened. One thing that is also worth mentioning is that if you have your game volume too low and your calm volume too high, you're actually helping the enemy spy. Like. Any noise a spy can make on the, or make like people, I guess, kind of a bit fanatic, will help him. Oh, nice crit exchange here. Red team coming out on top of that one. Gets the medic as well. Well, Navigator navigating the pain once again. Uh, they lose their medic though, but they do keep the point and just look at the people dead for blue team. They're just getting spawns now. This is uh, pretty one sided. Uh, right, uh, especially in this half, but the points are pretty similar, but you can see the classes are completely, uh, like their places are completely different. You see the soldier and the scout are really doing a lot of work for troll bait here. Uh, so I'm gonna go on the Linko camp to see if you can get a sniper pick here. Ooh. The thing is, like, it's really I hard to get a sniper pick if you uh, are constantly being shut down. The sniper duel yeah. doing the jumping and the crouch thing and not really hitting anything. Um, which, uh, well, he got hit, and he didn't hit the other guy, and he's, well, he's gonna die now, so that is a lot of waste of time. Let's see. Well, he gets the counter snipe, it only took him a bunch of shots, and he's almost dead, so. Front, front toward enemy doing some great work. To yeah. Blue medic, and yes, Deacon Frost happened. And also, this is what I mean by sniper duels. I mean, if you survive a sniper duel and you don't do anything, uh, you might as well have died in that frontal uh, yeah. sniper duel. Because he's just getting the health back and he hasn't done anything. And... Um, Linko is now... Oh, no, not Linko. Um, the Custodian is now back. And he hasn't done anything. And here comes the spy, takes out the sniper, so, yeah. The same can be said for a spy to a certain extent. So, so if the opposing uh, pyro is out, you have to capture the design capitalize on that like instantly yeah we just saw um the dream traveler uh yes. tried to get something done on a point but it just wasn't enough they saw him and he just it, like as a spy you also need distractions like your team needs to distract the enemy and they weren't distracted and they just saw him so yeah. uh the second swordfish. one goes to poop yeah that's swordfish playing really great they're not playing like poop <laughs> Um, so let's see here. I'm gonna watch the Irish with the Otter Pops on the rollout. He's doing it fairly slowly, opting to not uh, sticky jump. Uh, gonna watch Mr. Snapper. And he's jumping really far. He's not gonna reload. Yes, okay. And then it happened. <laughs> yeah, happened. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Scout did a lot of work on getting the medic too. So just. Like, the Heavy and the Medic are dead, and now, like, if you lose your Heavy and a Medic, you can either fall back or just turn up the aggression and hope you'll get a couple of picks. But it's really, really hard, because, you know, Swordfish just has uh, the superior positioning right now, and they have the numbers, and they will have a crits in just a few seconds, and they're just looking so confident right now. I don't think they will pop it, though. Uh, well, they might now, because now they're clustered together. Oh, here it comes! Navigate. Oh, Navigator gets taken out and the Medic dies as well. Didn't get a single pick there, so very nice comeback there. Uh, finally, I think I was just... Go ahead. Uh, yes? Yeah. Yes, that was good. Okay, good. 
Um, yeah, that was a very nice exchange there. I mean, they had crits, but they went out too far, and here it happened. The control point Frost happened. Uh, yeah, I feel so sorry for that. Alert. Our control point is being captured. We just okay. Okay, here comes the crits, and he is going to get uh no one. It seems. Oh, that's unfortunate. Spy comes and kills. Wow, this. Wow. Trollbit is not uh utilizing teamwork. They're running in one at a time, and getting picked off. So in turn. Yeah. Adventure. Well, the scout and the soldier are over on the red side, and maybe they will get something done from the back here. Soldier, uh, on the roof. Not, not on the crate anymore. I see he's jumping, and well, the sniper's really far forward too, and he gets taken out. I'm watching the soldier oh, down with the black box. The will we get something? Oh, uh, you're breaking up, fatal. All oh, right, sorry. I'll attempt to ask you that again. What would be the best advice you could give to a sniper in New Jersey still? Uh, like in low rankings. Low rankings. I'd just say be really aggressive. Uh, right. Like if you can avoid shooting other snipers, uh, if you're not comfortable shooting other snipers, just just no scope body shot them three times and they'll die. You don't have to worry about the headshots too much. And also take your time, because now Custodian ha actually had a couple of nice shots here we could done. And, uh, you know, Linko, he jumped and he did the control thing, and Custodian just patiently waited and killed him. And that that's what happens, you know, with sniper duels. So, like, the jumping thing is just a false sense of security. It's the same people who say, like, oh, yeah, jumping crouch spam works. Yeah, it's the same people who wear a Razorback. <laughs> <laughs> and Wicked here with another... He's been using the Frontier Justice crits uh, quite effectively this game. I've seen it twice. Oh, we have Mini Sentry versus Mini Sentry. Mini Sentry 1, <laughs> what is that? So we have blue team moving up, troll baits in the air, takes out the sniper. So now they have the... When you get the sniper, especially on this map... <laughs> Decon, man, you're all over the place. And finally, Haroquen kills him and then immediately he kills you by the other heavy. And here's another crits coming in for a sword... Whoa, Woods, counter crits! <laughs> Wow. As if that just happened. <laughs> well, the uh, red blue devilman is definitely doing some work here. He's like, well, you know, we could just at any po point in time just kill them, you know? And it's like, yeah. And now they have got a nice little death ball coming together here. They have their power classes together. And let's see if the red team will do as the blue team did earlier, which was to attack them one at a time. The uh, majority of the red players just spawn. Yeah, and so I'm, a watch I'm watching the point right now, and they have the heavy demo and soldier together. They need the pirate with them to deny any kind of like aerial attack. And the soldier is going roaming. I like this aggression. He's gonna go and not, well, he, he's gonna take out the teleporter. Oh, okay, that's something. Uh, just as viable as go and pressuring the tunnel. And now they backing off the point. Well, red right team is, go ahead. For some random reason. Yeah, so we got, oh, here, oh, it happened. <laughs> oh no. Deacon, 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 Deacon. 96 points! Wow! <laughs> Top spy. I think the blue team needs to check their back some more, man. I don't know, I don't know about you, man. 96 points, that is a. Uh, the opposite of 69, I'd say. <laughs> or, no. So, yeah, but yeah, blue team actually holding this. Oh, they, he saw the spy. Linko is chasing the spy, he doesn't have Jurati, and. Oh, he's right in front of him, he's invisible, and, oh uh, yeah, I think uh, Deep Gun get away, got away. So what's happening on the red side right now? Uh, red and ro No, wait, they were a second ago up in bodies. Um, other than that, um, yep, yeah, they're like medics building tricks. And, right, they're all situated near the crates, the blue crates. And not much more. Demon that. Traveler oh. finally getting a stab on the Red Heavy. First one I've seen this game. Uh, Me as well, I think. Yeah, but it just seems that Swordfish are just better at checking their backs. Indeed. Uh, and the blue team, uh, not so much. Maybe they're like yelling at their pyro, which is the worst thing. That was a pyro. I hate to be on their comms right now. Yeah. The thing is, for Highlighter, Pyro's job is not to protect you against spies, he's there to help you against spies. Okay? Yeah. That's a big difference. Peep. 
overestimate. Nice Jurati here getting the heavy on the soldier, unfortunately. Oh! Nobody's around capitalizing it. But it take it back to 2-2. Uh, so it looks like uh, blue team has warmed up. Troll bait is coming back. Maybe they were just trolling in the first two halves and just pretending to not know what they're doing and now they're coming back on strong. I like this play. They really got their classes together, getting that uh, Highlander death ball, as I like to call it. Uh, my cat just came to my room and oh. it's climbing everywhere. Oh, your cat. Oh, well, let yeah. Let me just sort this out. Yeah, so sort out that cat, man. I'll take care of this. And by room, he means studio. And here yeah, comes studio. Yeah. studio. Here comes. And just let me know when you've gotten that uh, cat uh, out of the studio. Getting the sweeper up. So right now we are seeing um, not a lot of pressure for blue, actually. A lot of red. Oh, nice backs on there by Dream Traveler. Maybe he will be like the decon, constantly killing Pete of Bzzd. Uh, constantly. Well, Cream has a full uber of the crits kind, and he has their demo, but nobody's capping the point. Uh, you could just... Well, now the blue team's capping the point. Comes the demo, shuts that down. Nice little work here. As we have... Well, here comes the heavy. He's gonna be trying to do something. Where is the spy? Oh, he's not here. The heavy died in... Oh, nice crits here coming in. And another headshot from Linko taking out Cream, so nice work there. We have the pyro, he's, uh, he's laggy. Well, the red team does cap point. The red team, of course, being uh, Swordfish. Doing, doing fairly, fairly well. Uh, Irish Otter Pops getting the spam over. This one, Charlie Cat. Using the pistol. Okay. The Spencer going up here. And let's see if uh, Peter. He's able to uh, get some good on air trading. A lot of damage here from the other. Oh, it's a spy! Spy! Ooh! The yeah, spy is down. Everything is under control. The pyro was there. Oh, titty sprinkles. <laughs> Come on. No, he went down. He almost got the medic. Uh... Yeah, that was a nice at work. So let's see here. We have mm, the heavy. Arrow queen. Not opting to overextend. Something we haven't really seen this game. People overextending. We've seen people be holding fairly far back and making fairly... Uh, Competent pushes actually when they're just making them. And Wicked are oh, wasting crits on the dispenser. Oh, you should have just shot the medic and get the damage done, man. Sniper versus sniper. Custodian kills Linko once again. Uh, probably killed him more times than we missed, but that's fine. Oh, here getting the heals and they're holding the point here. This O jumps away. And he's gonna be pressuring the sniper, and the sniper doesn't stand a chance. He's gonna be running away with his pink uh, trophy belt. He's fine. Let's see here. I'm just trying to get a big, uh, better view of what everyone is up to. Blue team having a really well hold on the point here. Oh! E.T. E Titi Sprinkles killing uh, Fluttershy here, making him drop. Ow. And it happened. And then he died uh, to Terrandall. Killing him eventually. And there's a mid entry left. Front forward and front toward enemy. Doing the work. Uh, nobody kept the point here, so. I think red team does have the numbers, but are they in position? That is the question. And they have these broken things here. Oh, these really weak, immobile things. <laughs> that seems to be so hard for some people to deal with for some people. Yeah, look at this. So hard to deal with. So we have people jumping all over the place. Another backstand from Deacon Frost on the heavy. Seen that quite some 119 points. Oh. Oh, 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 all right. So we've got Navigator uh, doing some pills, pill work. Shooting uh, stickies. So let's see, Fire Shy is at 78. Oh, and, and the crits popped here, but uh, the Dream Traveler finally kills their heavy. Nice work here. And here we have Harakon, the single lone Rambo heavy. He tries to go all pub hero, but it doesn't work in Highlander. You just get focused fire down. This mini sentry versus mini sentries. Nobody wins. Crit pyro. Whoa, okay. Crit demo. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a bit better. Crit compression blast. How much is three times more than nothing? Uh, still nothing. Last time I did the math. And here we have the interesting teleporters. Like, yeah, you know, where I come from, we put the teleporters like this. Cream here using the Blout Sugger actually. Oh, that's an interesting choice. I guess he wants to die more to fire or something because you die a lot more to more to fire than if you don't use it. But I guess he's uh, opting to shoot his enemy to regain health. I guess that's fine. He's heavy. He has this little secret pact with his heavy to throw sandwiches. 
pyro on the roof. Oh, this pyro is gonna die. There, down it goes. Mini sentry doesn't stand a chance. It happens. Deacon Frost killing the blue heavy once again, and the red team is holding the point. Right, keep in mind, the blue team has had, of course, the blue team being troll bait, have uh, had the point for quite some time here. Nice little crits coming up behind the container here. And he's doing a lot of work, and he needs to get out of there. This scout is gonna do a lot of damage to this heavy, and he takes him out. Owie, bringing the Ow into that heavy through his shotgun and bullets. He is on the side here. I'm gonna watch for follow him what he does. He's gonna go around and he's gonna work on the teleporter. Taking that out, and he's uh, still behind him. He's gonna be cleaning up the soldier here with the help of his spy. Spy could at any point in time to shoot up, shoot the soldier. Uh, yeah, there we go. Took him out, and then the pyro did not see him. Okay. I guess he was really good at accepting people. Oh, Pyro in a bit of a bad position. He's getting launched all over the place. Spires battling Cream, the Dream Traveler, retreating once again. Now it looks like the death ball for Blue Team is finally on the point. And they are holding it, it seems. Yes. Yes, Blue Team holding it. Engineer tries to get something done. Oh, it happens. <laughs> Man, Deacon Frost have just constantly been killing uh, troll baits heavy constantly this game. I, I mean, you know, I, I don't know. Top comment: How many times did Deacon Frost stab the heavy? Go. So we have another Gerardi here from Linko. He's gonna go for the headshots eventually. Uh, going for the medic. It doesn't seem that decisive. Oh yeah, Bushwaka. Gerardi Bushwaka gets the medic, gets the heavy with a little help from his scout, and then dies to the other sniper. But hey. Medic pick. Medic is battling the spy. You gotta be careful, Deacon Frost, so that you don't feed the medic uh, Uber, but the medic is all alone and. Yes, yeah, sweep that cat back into its place. Yes, good. You got the cat out of. In, into the bag. <laughs> back into the bag. Yes, I, got, I got the cat back in the bag. Yes, excellent. Welcome back. Uh, Thank you. We've seen Decon pretty much kill the, the blue heavies and more. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, Alright. Blue Tans Beholding 4 is currently over time. As uh, yeah. Team is trying to muster a defense here. Nice drop here by um, it. <laughs> Ty Bag Titty Sprinkles. He they made the medic drop there. As the name. This is really critical. Anything could happen right now. Yeah. If Blue make that push, you know. Yeah. I think Red has it in them to win this round. Yeah, well, it's currently overtime on overtime. It's currently anyone's game at Deacon this point. Deacon happened. Deacon just happened. Again. Oh, yeah, then again. All right. Well, I just told people that if you're watching this on YouTube, I want top comment to be how many times did Deacon stab Haroquin. I yes. want that to be top comment. He currently has 129 points. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, you get I three points for every stab. Oh, or two and a half, or something like that, so... It's two points for backstab, but I, I don't know how he's got so many. I mean... Wow. Well, uh, that is halftime, so Trollbait, currently with three points. And uh, Poop. <laughs> Swordfish with uh, two, so let's see. I think they're going to be switching teams. So now the colors are going to get uh, changed here. So overall, a pretty interesting game. Uh, we've seen a lot of backstabs yep. on one particular per person, which we've been seeing <laughs> most of the time. Uh, trying to adjust your microphone because uh, it sounds like a tornado when you're breathing. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be. Sorry, is that better? Yeah, that's fine. It's just a minor thing. Like, you know when you just have had a battle with a cat with your headset on? It's kind of yeah, hard to like it's keep just you know, me everywhere. I mean, yeah. my face is bruised and yeah, you know, it's, it's tough being a caster in the high GPS studio. You know? Yeah, the cats just when the cat's out of the bag, they go crazy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've always wondered, um, where did you get your name from, high GPS? Uh, I was originally called Skybird for a while, but it's a very common internet name, just like from some fable. And then I saw a video right. called "The Heaviest Jetpack" on YouTube. I highly recommend you check that out. And then I was like, cool, and that was called Heaviest Jetpack for a while, and I'm like, no, I don't want to be called the, like, another internet video, so I decided GPS, because Heavy is a general problem solver, because that's what I was doing in my studies. Indeed. So that, that's how I got the name, and then High GPS is just 
acronym of that. And then I figured out you can do a lot with GPS. I'm a general problem solver. General problem solver? I'm like, I'm a gangster player slim, yo. Yo. Gangster in the hood, top of Norway, west side Oslo. Yes, there you go. West side. So currently, uh, we're just waiting for teams to ready up. Uh, so they're probably discussing strats. Trollbait has, of course, three points. And Swordfish has two, and it's a first to four, if I remember correctly. So it's currently match point for... Uh, yeah, I think so. GPS. Yes. So right now, place your bets. Bet, 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 bet. Betting is over. That was a short betting period. <laughs> um, place your hats. Yes. So uh, both teams have Uber, and they're hanging out in spawn. <laughs> uh, yes, this is what we call uh, downtime. So yeah, if you take a look at... Take a look at the scores here. Deacon Frost. He was the guy who... I understand why Deacon Frost wanted me to cast this. He's like, dude, look at my points, man. There's so many of them. I really understand why he wanted us. Yeah, but it's like if you look at this, you can see that it's kind of flipped upside down in a way. Some of the classes. Well, the Pyro is the bottom of both. So I guess they did the same. But like you see, the Dream Traveler did not do nearly as much work as their, like Deacon Frost. But I think like the reason Deacon Frost got so many kills is that he constantly kept stabbing uh, Horoquin. Is what he did. Um, so like like uh, frags can be like kind of a delusional in a way. Like I, I don't say like... I never say that frags is like a good measurement of skill. I'd say it's like an... A good indicator of stuff you've done, like Deacon Frost have done more stuff than the Dream Traveler this round. That's true. Same goes for Engineer as well. So we we've seen like a pretty common spot is this little house, this little hut, shit house or whatever. Uh, right. Reporter. That's pretty much the same for both teams, I guess. And we've seen that. What I really liked uh, in this game was front uh, front ward enemy, uh, Swordfish's uh, soldier. He was just being so aggressive all the time, and he was like, I don't care if I die, I'm gonna get that medic. The and cat's returned. The cat has returned. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's close the bag, man. Just, dang. Oh, I'll, I'll see you Alright, that is it's, it's the hazards of uh, the show we do. Is, uh, I was asked to um, look after this cat called uh, Mittens, and she's a, she's a pretty annoying cat. And now it looks like uh, the round has started. Yes, we're about to go uh, live here, I think. Some, uh, point has not. Yeah, here it goes. Yes, the round has started. And Deacon, the first kill after. Oh, bye, bye, kills bye. frontal enemy. It happened now. Keep in mind the teams have been changed. So now the blue team is the red team, and red team is the blue team. So that means. Falling blue. Uh, Deacon is on the blue team. The guy who stabs Haruquen, he's on the blue. Stabs on and Haruquen. The guy who gets stabbed is on the red team. Uh, I think we shouldn't be too like not nice to him because you know it happens. Yeah, it getting happens. stabbed excessively. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um. So right. Oh, navigator with some crits here on Harrowline. Crits on the heavy and the medic, and they're both down. He, ma um, he managed to escape with the medic and kills the Solly as well. Wow. So we got a little stupid sniper duel, and hey, the guy who jumped jitter jumped died anyway, so... Eh. Custodian, like, it always makes me so happy to see that. Because there's a the thing, like, even if you don't jump, you might, might he might as well miss you. So it's actually you not dodging, causing him to miss, it's actually him missing, even if he didn't move. So that happens. Oh, I see. So it's, more, it's like, sniper is very metagame, it's a lot of, like, mind games and stuff like that. <laughs> Deacon Frost here, it happened. They are currently holding the point, having held it for a while now. And then he link up kills Custodian as he just stands still. Maybe it's like. Red Scout taking out the demo navigator, which, yep, yeah, team's not likely to pick, like make a push right now. Yeah, right now we I see Cream. He is almost at 100%, and Fluttershy is at 20. So Cream has the Uber, and they still have the point. Are they running the Crit Screeg? That is uh, uh, confirmative, if that's a word. <laughs> And the crits here on the demo man doing a lot of damage, and Haruquen once again left alone like a Rambo. Nice shot there on the medic, but he barely survives with a sliver of health as front toward enemy goes and shut down that sniper. Following the Deacon Captain right now. To, oh, no. It's gonna go to a spawn. Um, just playing around with the sniper, uh, takes down the sniper. I think he's just gonna take down the medic right now. 
I think don't know. He just went down to a sticky, uh, sticky bomb here, so spy down. Yep, he just went down. All right. Got like two behind you or something. Yes. That's no, fine. Oh, a nice headshot there by Custodian, taking down Harlequin. Dude, I think he's the guy who has died the most this game. Yeah. Yep. Really bad for him. There should be medals for that, you know? Yeah, died the most. Deacon Frost. About to sap that mini sentry. He saps the mini sentry. So I was trying to see what is up here. I'm gonna watch the Harley Queen cam. Okay, right. he's in back sap. Incoming in five. And four, Deacon takes down three, Solly as well. Two, this one. could be like a 10 kill. Dude, my countdown was entry. fucking perfect, dude. I was just I was just doing it for lols, and as I said what and Harakwen got stabbed. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Be I'm, I'm sorry, I just too mad. I'm sorry. And the medic, he's going for the med. He's going for the med and he gets the med. Yeah. Now the thing is like Harakwen does not check his back at all. He just keeps dying. It's 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 like watching one of those robots that's trying to solve things he's, and Oh my god. He gets stabbed again. Uh, he takes uh, Deacon Frost so again. And uh, yeah, Swordfish takes it up to 3-3 three, three right now, so this is... And he takes down the Medic right when the game finished, which makes sense. Well, yeah, you know. Get those strange kills. <laughs> so, let's see. I'm gonna watch Aoi as he goes into bonk mode. Making sure to yell that he's untouchable, announce <laughs> announcing his presence to everybody. As he's on the flank, he's behind the pyro, and he launches. Following Titty Sprinkles right here, he's the the blue scout. Yeah, we got some scout action going on here. Uh, Aoi not being uh, too effective here. Oh, right. The Dream Traveler takes down uh, Peter. <laughs> so no heavy for the red team at the moment, or blue team for that matter. But the cream has his demo alive, and he has a crit scary ready to go. Fluttershy only at seventy six percent. Also running the crits creek, and this is going to be uh, pretty painful for the red team if uh, Swordfish here. Of course, red team is now Trollbait. Trollbait takes another uh, hit here, and here we have the Harokwen. Should we do the countdown? I really don't want to. I'm sorry, man. Oh! 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 No. Oh! My God. Oh! Oh! Uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. That was so horribly brutal. <laughs> oh man, man, swordfish, swordfish. Man. We should not have streamed that. Oh yeah, that was just, sorry. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. Extreme kick assery might happen from sword, swordfish <laughs> from bones. Wow. Oh uh, they had just had, like the swordfish just had the best positioning with their demo man, and he's like, Did it happened. <laughs> I, I just look down and I see Harder Queen get stabbed. Oh man, it's terrible. Oh damn. Uh, wow, just, dude, look at the scores. Look at the scores. None of the red team has a double digit point here, and this is gonna be really tough for them. Unless they can pull it together. Oh, here comes the crits! The crits might get. I get. He gets the demo. Irish Red Octopus gets the demo. Good pick. And, that, and then here comes the counter crits! Arakwen all by himself in the open. Oh, and the engineer Charlie Cat dies as well on top of the heavy. They share a secret sticky and they both ate it. Uh, and then they exploded because that's what happens if you try to eat sticky bombs. <laughs> and Deacon here gets the face stab on Lincoln. No, it's actually not a. Yeah, it was a face stab, but it was a legitimate one where he just. It wasn't a backstab, it was just a kill. Alright. Because whenever, you know, whenever a stab. Whenever a spy gets a face stab. Uh, and you say face stab, the spider's ghost is like, no, no, it's totally under matter or stab. No, the, the, the one that works sometimes. Yeah, it does. Oh, and uh, Linko takes down a custodian as he just rams right into his scope. It's also something with sniper people go, oh, here it happens, go up. Oh, it happened again. And Fluttershy actually healing him as well. It's like, oh, you're healing my heavy? Oh, my, killing my heavy? I might as well heal you. <laughs> can't, oh. can't win him, beat him. But look at this time. Almost held it for three minutes now. My god. Only 50 seconds left on the clock. This is a flush out, I think. Uh, it totally looks like it. 
Deacon Frost coming back. And Deacon Frost is about to happen, I think. Yes, he happens. Yeah. Oh, wow. Total shutout here by uh, Swordfish Trombones. Just wow, man. 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 That is a way to commentate. <laughs> man. Only man. 15 seconds to go. Can they make a comeback? It does not look at it. They have the death ball. This 15 seconds is in memory of the the red team who, uh, yeah, they're not doing very, they're not doing very well right now. I don't know. Is there hope for them? It's currently over, and that is GG. Swordfish beats Colbait, 43. <laughs> so, oh uh, with me, if you wonder who this uh, gentleman is, why don't you present yourself and do a little plug of what you do? Right, so I'm um, Fatal. Um, I currently play for a UGC Steel name by the name of Team Team, or Meet Meet, as some of you might know them. Um, they've been going for quite some time. I recently joined them. Unlike, uh, yeah, I don't really have much time for TF2 and such. So yeah, they're like a good team that I play with, and I used to do videos with. Juggernaut and Julian and such uh, for the British Dominance channel. Uh, we're continuing with those in the summer. Uh, I don't know what else to say really. Hi, GPS. Um, you have a Hi. YouTube channel called British Dominance. The link for that will be in the description or maybe in the stream chat. Check those out. Doodly -doo. They have some uh, some uh, commentaries uh, on various TF2 things. Guides, tutorials, yes, whatever you stuff want. Like that, yeah. So check them out. Uh, definitely worth a shot. So thank you for joining me on this cast, and thank you for to. It was a pleasure. It yeah. I also want to give a big thank you, thank you to uh, the guy who sent me this replay. That was you know Decon Frost, the guy who just <laughs> killed one guy over and over and over again. It's like yeah, I got tons of yeah. points. Of course he wanted me to cast this. So it's been a, it was a really fun game. Uh, I think we we caught a lot of the fun stuff. So thank you for watching, and we will see you later or something like that. Thanks for watching, guys.